May Christ now greet her with these words of eternal life. Come, blessed of my Father. <coughs> in baptism, Nicolaeva received the sign of the cross. May she now share in Christ's victory over sin and death. The life and death of each of us has its influence on others. If we live, we live for the Lord. And if we die, we die for the Lord. So that alive or dead, we belong to the Lord. This explains why Christ both died and came to life. It was so that he might be Lord of both the dead and the living. We shall all have to stand before the judgment seat of God. As scripture says, by my life, it is the Lord who speaks. Every knee shall bend before me, and every tongue shall praise God. It is to God, therefore, that each of us 
must give an account of himself. This is the word of the Lord. The response is, let us go rejoicing to the
I shall return to take you in, so that where I am, you may be too. You know the way to the place where I'm going. Thomas said, Lord, we do not know where you're going, so how can we know the way? Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one can come to the Father except through me. The gospel of the today united in the loving memory of Ekleba Yamor, who departed from us. I know that the reality of death with all its pain and sense of loss confronts us at this moment. The family and friends will miss her dearly and I would like to convey my sympathies uh, to all of you, especially our children, Caroline, Charlie, Poppy, Messi, Kojo, and Belinda, and grandchildren, and rest of the family and friends. She's very lovingly remembered as a very kind and generous person, and the family says everybody called her Granny. And she had a place in her house for everyone, so she was so welcoming. And Akleba moved to the UK in 1998 and to this parish in 2003. And since then, she has been a parishioner worshipping here. People often have an inseparable connection to the church where they worship and it is their spiritual home and sometimes we don't consciously think about that but it is true and today she makes her final visit to her church and we pray for her as she joins the communion of the church in heaven and in India, in, in, uh, where, where I come from, we have, in the funeral service, we have a, a very beautiful ritual where the person says, bids farewell to the church, which is quite moving, uh, kind of thanking the church for all the spiritual nourishment that the person has received and coming to the church for the one last final time and bidding farewell to that, it's, it's, it's quite moving. And this morning, she made her visit uh, to her home, and now she makes her visit to her spiritual home in this church. And as we pray for her, we are also united with her in our faith. And indeed, if it were not for the faith, we would have very little to say to each other by way of consolation. And this Easter candle, stands beside the coffin at every funeral mass, reminds us Jesus' everlasting presence with us. The five grains on the candle represents the five wounds of Jesus. And it is very symbolic that this candle stands beside the coffin. It is almost as Jesus is standing beside a clever. Jesus led her in her life, in her faith, and she, he, he leads her now in her death as well, as a faithful shepherd guiding her to heaven. And this is our faith that Jesus never abandons us, neither in life nor in death. And this is our consolation today. And that is the good news, even in these sad moments. 
So Jesus' words in the gospel today is, do not let your hearts be troubled, trust in me. And that was Ecleba's faith in her life. And let us pray that her faith will encourage us in our own faith and in our own life journey. And Ecleba's passing away is not an end for her. It is the beginning of her new life. She has gone to her true home. And let us assist her with our prayers. And let us pray as we bid our farewell to her. Let us pray that her soul will rest in peace. Amen. Please stand for the intercessory prayers. All of us assembled here to worship in faith that we may be gathered together again in God's kingdom. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayers. Let us pray for a few moments in silence for our own It is fully right and just 
our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he is the salvation of the world, the life of the human race, the resurrection of the dead. Through him the host of angels and all your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices be prayed joined with theirs in one chorus of excellent praise as we are led. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and this cup, we proclaim your death, Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memory of this death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charities to our Christ and Sapo, to our most high bishop and all the Remember your servant, the Philippine Yatan, whom you have called from this world to yourself, and that she was united. With your son, the death like this may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and who have died in their mercy. Welcome them to the light of their face. Have mercy on us all in prayer that in the blessed place is very God. Blessed Joseph has passed with the blessed apostles. And all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit in glorious eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Of the Lord be with you always. 
Let's all pray each other the same way.
Let us pray. Lord God, who sang left us in the sacrament of his holy, who for the journey, must the return that strengthened by our sister at Karaba. May come to the eternal temple of Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated for the Mr. Kenabate Yamwa was born to lawyer Aris Blake, one of the pillars of Ghana's fight for independence, and Madame Martha Adar, an educationist, on 19th May 1938 in Ibri, in the eastern region of Ghana. She arrived in the world with a twin brother who sadly died when he was four years old. In 1944, Ekelema's mother, who was then teaching at Achimota School in Accra, was appointed to head the Catholic Girls' School in Sekendi, in the western region of Ghana. She moved with Ekelema and her two younger siblings, Ebe and Ama, to Sekendi. Ekelema started her primary education at the Catholic Girls' School and later attended St. Monica's Boarding School in Mampong in the Ashanti region. She entered St. Monica's Teachers Training College from the boarding school, following her mother's footsteps into teaching. After training as a teacher, she was posted to Senyabreku and then to Swaypu, all in the central region of Ghana. From Swaypu, she went to the Winneba Specialist College, now University of Education, to study creative, visual, and fine arts. It was there that she met her future husband, Kojo Ibuzi Yamwa, a young lecturer in English. They had four boys, four children, two boys and two girls. Abba, Caroline, Parkwesi, Charles, Mamidakwa, Mercy, and Kojo Ibuzi, Jr. Mrs. Ekeleba Yamwa taught in several public schools in Ghana. She taught in Second D, Kumasi, Bogatanga, and finally in Accra, in Aditro School in Adabraka. She taught there for 10 years. In the early 1980s, Mrs. Akel Bayamwa moved on to teach at St. Lawrence Primary School, a private school in Abeka, Accra, where she retired from her beloved teaching profession in 1998. She was affectionately called teacher by not only her students, but the entire community in Tessano, Accra, where she lived. After her retirement, she moved to England to be with her daughter Caroline and her grandchildren. Mrs. Yamwa, also known as teacher, our dear mama, was greatly loved by many. Mama was an active member of the Ghanaian Catholic community here in England. She was a member of the choir at St. Bennett Roman Catholic Church and a founding member of the Ghanaian Catholic communities in both Sacred Heart Roman Catholic Church, Camberwell, and St. Bennett Roman Catholic Church, Abbeywood. Mrs. Yamwan was everybody's mum. She leaves behind four children, ten grandchildren, one great-grandson, five siblings, and many nephews and nieces several of whom have traveled from Ghana, Canada, the US, France, and the Netherlands to come and pay their respects. Sister Kelba, our dearest mama Kelba, was such an angel. She was a shining star. She was calm, patient, kind, extremely gen generous, and very helpful. She was accommodating to everyone and was greatly loved by all and sundry. We are truly grateful to God to have been given such a caring, gentle, and loving star as a mother to us all. Mama taught us how to truly love without counting the cost. She was love, kindness, and tolerance in practice. She passed on these qualities to us and we will surely uphold them. They needed a new star up yonder, but they couldn't find a brighter light to shine. God knew that she was meant for a star, and so we sent for her. 
Mama, the ye, Nancy ye, Yame for one crazy. As a motherly figure to us all. She had a warm smile for everyone and extended her love and respect to all. Mama Ekeleba will be dearly missed in all our events. You will never be forgotten in the Union of Rose and Monica's UK and Ireland's records. When you meet up with the old St. Monica and old girls, kindly give them our love. May the choirs of angels come to meet you, guide you, and protect you, and lead you gently into your Father's everlasting bosom. Mama, the Union of Old St. Monica's UK and Ireland, yes, dear Mom, they refer you. Rest well and peace. Life Joy to greet the Easter dawn. 
His words shall put in words again, unending joy, unceasing grace. This hope I cherish in my hands. It cannot let my flesh be stopped. And not a stranger, but a friend. Behold, my Savior and my Lord. Let us pray. Into your hands, that together with all who have died in Christ shall rise with him on the last day. We give you thanks for the blessings which you bestowed upon the way in this life. They are signs to us of your goodness and of our fellowship with the saints in Christ. Merciful Lord, turn to us and listen to our prayers. Open the gates of paradise to your servant and help us who remain to comfort one another with assurances of faith until we all meet in Christ and are with you and with our sister forever. We ask this to Christ our Lord. In peace, let us take a clay bag, Yamua to her place of rest.
Christ. May the Lord now welcome her to the table of God's children in heaven with faith and hope in eternal life. Let us pray for her. We read in sacred scripture, Come you whom my Father has blessed, says the Lord. Inherit the kingdom prepared for you since the foundation of the world. Lord Jesus Christ, by your own three days in the tomb, you hallowed the graves of all who believe in you, and so made the grave a sign of hope that promises resurrection even as it claims our mortal bodies. Grant that our sister may sleep here in peace until you awaken her to, to glory, for you are the resurrection and the life. Then she will see you face to face, and in your light you will see light, and know the splendor of God, for you live and reign. We commit her body to its resting place. For we are dust, and unto dust we shall return. But the Lord Jesus Christ will change our mortal bodies to be like his in glory. For he is risen, 
the firstborn from the dead. So let us commend our sister to the Lord, that the Lord may embrace her in peace and raise up her body to the last day. Amen. For the following prayers, your response is, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, you consoled Martha and Mary in their distress. Draw near to, to us who mourn for Ekleba and dry the tears of those who weep. We pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. You wept at the grave of Lazarus, your friend. Comfort us in our sorrow. We pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. You raised the dead to life. Give to our sister eternal life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. You promised paradise to the repentant thief. Bring Ekleba to the joys of heaven. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord have mercy. Our sister was washed in baptism and anointed with his Holy Spirit. Give her fellowship with all your saints. We pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Comfort us in our sorrow at the death of Ekeleba. Let our faith be our consolation and eternal life our hope. We pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Let us now pray in the words our Savior taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation. Merciful Lord, you know the anguish of the sorrowful. You are attentive to the prayers of the humble. Hear your people who cry out to you in their need and strengthen their hope in your lasting goodness. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Eternal rest, God and your Pharaoh Lord. And let the May she rest in peace. Amen. May her soul and the souls of all the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. May the blessing of Almighty God, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. So, on behalf of our aunts, the Kaliba, Yamwa, the children, brothers and sisters, those who are from far and near, to join us in praying for her soul. I would like to thank Father for leading us in praying for her and the entire family. And I also want to take this opportunity to thank all of you who are here today, the Marshallans, her classmates, friends, those people he has taught. And they have done her part. She has played her role so nicely and she has finished her job that the Lord gave to her. And so the Lord has called her home. Uh, when you read, uh, there is a, I don't know whether it's a, it's a, it's a, a word saying at the, at the back of the, the, the brochure, it says that she has just entered another room. She's not dead. And it is true. She's not dead, you know. And she is welcoming us that one day we will join her. Because the journey she has taken is a journey we all take one day. So we need to love and care for one another. When you hear the elegy and the things said about aunts, there is no way you can tell me she is not in heaven. She has gone, gone forever. But she is to that. So let us continue to support one another, <laughs> encourage one another, help one another. And taking time to be here, today last day, a lot of a lot of people coming from all over. It shows how much we love and take. 
and their family. And so the family is so proud of all of you. And I believe I think so soon, wherever she is, she's so proud of all of us standing here. Let us continue to pray for her, to pray for the family. It's not easy to 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 lose such a wonderful person like Kamte. Let us continue to pray for the family that the Lord will continue to support support them. And let us also those of us who are here to know that one day, whether you like it or not, you will be like what Ante is. So we need to respect one another, love one another and serve God so faithfully as she did. So that when our time comes, people may get something good to say about us. So thank you very much, and may God bless all of you. On the hills far away stood an old rugged cross
Came on the coach, the coach is going back to uh, the church, the Catholic church, where we will be having the reception. So you can all join us back to the Catholic church where we will have the reception. Thank you all for coming. Thank you so much. As we listen down the ages, bring the voices loud and clear. Those who lived and loved and